away and running. Nice, even start for all the ladies on debut. Lino and me breaks first. Flying Phyllis stays at that rail and in tight with Sweet and Feisty. The two has dropped away to second last. Now in third position, Atlantis Queen, who was reluctant to load. And why not Grace Kim's away in fourth. Sweet and Feisty's a troubled fifth, far outside for Beautiful Bloom. And Uptown Miss is near the backfield. Around the turn with three furlongs to go. Lino and me leads the charge and the lead is one. Atlantis Queen is saddling up to her speed in second. Beautiful Bloom is coming alive and deep on the track is why not Grace. These are the four principles past the quarter, and Atlantis Queen now takes a positive kick for home, and she has opened up with authority and leads by three. Lino and me has no more to give. The white cap of flying Phyllis and deep on the track is beautiful Bloom. Inside the final furlong, Atlantis Queen is giving plenty. Flying Phyllis and beautiful Bloom chase, but they chase in vain. A two-to-one winner to start the day. Atlantis Queen has won it. Second was terribly close between beautiful Bloom and flying Phyllis. Uptown Miss was fourth. Away yet, running to another perfect start. Good rail speed for Omar coming, but the pace is keen. Court contender, my handsome man, white cap of style, me royal. They're all going at it hot and heavy as they go around this paddock grove turn. So Omar coming leads the charge past the seven for long marker, but style me royal is eager to go and tries to take the lead and does at the six and a half. Court contender backs off the speed in third and mainstream still out in the all yellow. Back pedals a little bit to be passed by super constitution and my handsome man is last of all maybe the first turn behind trying to relax the pace is style me royal nice and relaxed too and shows the way by a length and a half omar Cummin was hell bent to grab the lead but under a loose rein now in that second place spot and my handsome man is floated four wide for the back of the track run court contender stays ground saving orange cap of super constitution and mainstream sell out the phillies last of all they have three and a half furlongs to go and style me royal is in hand and in command and shows the way by five authoritative lengths court contender takes up the chase in second omar come has no more to give my handsome man is trying to close in slowly with super constitution and tailing off badly was mainstream sellout around the bend with a quarter to go style me royal slowly coming back to the face of the field a leg weary leader leads by three court contenders the only threat in second and coming with giant strides up the inside they're inside the furlong ground Style Me Royal is huffing and puffing, but still leading. Court Contender is all in and still chasing. But Style Me Royal found a second win with 100 yards to go. And at 3-1, to one, Style Me Royal has won it. Over Court Contender, my handsome man in Super Constitution. Away and running. Catapulting speed from return fire today. Hot on your heels is right there too, living up to the name. And pulling hard is Bourbon Express too. Rum, Tum, Tugger, four deep. And Dominguez trying to save ground but can't. And is three paths deep. Up the inside is down Patrick, blowing the turn was Walker's Gap and headed by Darvish, who's second last. So as the dust settles, return fire tries to slow pace the field and is throttling that speed two and lead by a length and a half. Berman Express has the
the trip today with no excuses in second and hot on your heels rides that rail rum tum tugger teams up with that rival and dominguez chases the top four past the five there's a gap of three back to darvish is off the fence down patrick is ground saving and bolting the first turn was walker's gap down to the three and a half for long station they go return fire continues to be the dictating speed but bourbon is express has shadowed his every single move a distant third is rum tum tugger at odds of four to five and he's to do a little bit better hasn't been asked yet and dominguez is floated off the rail around the bend with a quarter to go now bourbon express takes the fight to return fire rum tum tugger getting on track is still two lanes down they're homeward bound now the three wide challenges coming from rum tum tugger bourbon express is still leading return fire battles on here's dominguez a gray blur up the inside four across the track and return fire tries to make a goal line stand return fire is gonna do it return fire got it over rum tum tugger dominguez in a show photo with bourbon express away and running up the inside inter miami was quick off the line there's the speed of sunset town to strike the front and kenny had a notions right there too strugar came away a joint third and we got a guy is also in that cluster of five and lucky to be in america's a long looking last so they take no prisoners up top and enter miami trying to turn the tables in the fourth of the day but strugar is going to make him earn it today and is right there in a position to challenge kenny had a notion is three wide for the far turn run and sunset town gets a pop of the crop and is very headstrong too we got a guy stays glued to the rail and lucky to be in america's last of all so the favorite sits in fourth while the leader is enter miami strugar comes calling for the lead kenny had a notion is three wide and sunset Sunset Town is just not responding at the moment as they turn for home. Strugar cuts that corner and leads by one. Inter Miami went too fast too early. Kenny had a notion trying to take ground away. Sunset Town is a non-threatening fourth at the 16th pole. Strugar at 7-2 to still giving plenty. Kenny had a notion moves into second. It's Strugar's win. Strugar has won it over. Kenny had a notion. Inter Miami and Sunset Town. Away and running. Good speed in the center for the long shot. Sagamus get cozy is right there too. And El Fuego Masbrilante chases the speed in that third place position as they find their positions early on. Alabama Shake is three wide. Moonshine Runner four deep and out in no man's land is Nanga Parbat, but advances. Moonshine Runner has two beat, which is Factum Love Style, and Tio Tony is last of all. So Sagamoose at no less than 60 to 1 shows the way and is well off the fence too. Nanga Parbat chases the speed in second and El Fuego Masbrilante is off the fence for a clear shot of the dueling top pair. Get Cozy came away in that joint third place position and also chasing the speed in fifth is Alabama Shake. Up the fence is Factum Love Style in front of Tio Tony and Moonshine Runner comes under a niggle and not responding as of yet. 
Three and a half furlongs to go. Sagamoose calls the shots. Nega Parbat is chased throughout and hasn't been asked yet. El Fuego Masbrillante has the run of the race and the jockey's still a statue at the 516th pole and picking up momentum is Factum Love Style around the bend with a quarter to go. Nanga Parabat now takes the lead away. Here comes El Fuego Masbrillante. Far outside is Factum Love Style and they're homeward bound. And now a new leader, El Fuego Masbrillante takes control and kicks away. Nanga Parbat tries to stick. Tio Tony comes up the fence with power and pace. And here comes Tio Tony. El Fuego Masbrillante going to fight this rival down to the finish with the favorites home. And Tio Tony has won it over El Fuego Masbrillante, Nanga Parbat, and Factum Love Style. Away and running. Nice even start. Good speed on the outside from my sanctuary. There's Melt with you. And Shrug is right there too. So Shrug takes the initiative. And Melt with you taps on the brakes to be a clear cut second. And in very tight is arrow speed. And that one got bounced around. My sanctuary in the tree line shadows came away a joint third in front of half a league. And Travail is last of all. So in a paceless affair as they go midpoint of the first turn. It's Shrug. Now starting to throttle that speed and shows the way by only a neck but arrow speed. Speed, sensing that sore pace now starts to pick up now and they pick up as a team with only five and a half furlongs to go. My sanctuary went wide around the first turn and Melt With You stays at the rail to no avail. Half a league needs to get going and so does Travail. So they are in step with about four and a half furlongs to go. Arrow speed on the outside in the yellow blinkers and Shrug stays parked at the paint. They have amassed a six length lead over My Sanctuary who's right there in third. Melt With You stays at the rail in between rivals is travail and last of all is half a league there's this pace tug of war past the three for long point and arrow speed trying to kick away from shrug and does now arrow speed slips away at odds of five to two shrug has nowhere to give closing in late is half a league on the far outside and my sanctuary is a floundering fourth they turn for home arrow speed trying to see this through for another three sixteenths of a mile the only threat is half a league and travail inside the furlong grounds and arrow speed is still amassing a huge advantage here half a league battles and travail is closing in and shrug is up the fence but it's over arrow speed on cruise control down to the winning post travail was second it's close for third ahead bob between half a league and shrug Away and running. Hustle Away was the favorite mega city for that early lead. Danny takes a beak back to get over to the fence. American Unity is right there in close attendance, too. And the two grays on the outside are Sagrada Ray and Clint Maroon. Wicked Finn is settled off the pace to be a joint fourth as they link up with the course proper. And Sacred Rider came away third last. Second last is Who's Counting. And with a lap to go, Zero Gravity brings up the rear. 
One lap to go for Mega City at the six and a half furlong point shows the way that it's a nice and relaxed gallop too, and he shows the way by almost two. Wicked Finn is right there on hold in that second place position, and Sagrada Ray has picked off American Unity for that third place position. There's quite a separation back to Clint Maroon, who's a tracking fifth, who's counting as a three wide second last. Sacred Rider passed that rival, and Zero Gravity is still a lackluster last. As they go down to the four and a half for long point, Mega City flashes behind the trees with a one and a half length lead, but Sagrada Ray takes the fight to that rival, and Wicked Finn stays parked at the rail. American Unity is five lanes down from the speed, and Clint Maroon is now in that fifth place position in front of Sacred Rider. Still second last is who's counting and Zero Gravity whips them in. They go to the far side of the course with three furlongs to go. Mega City still leading. Sagrada Ray is still chasing. Wicked Finn's in a box and now American Unity is trying to close in. Clint Maroon's in fifth and they're homeward bound now and Mega City is trying to see this through for another three sixteenths of a mile. Wicked Finn is poised to play his hand and here he comes. These two go toe to toe. American Unity has all kinds of space up the inside. Mega City digging deep, holding on. Chasing in vain is Wicked Finn and American Unity. Mega City wins over American Unity. Then came Wicked Finn. And closing in late was Clint Maroon. Set away and running. Great speed from Smoke and Sister today. There's the red cap of her Lucky Lotto. And there goes Florine, also right there too. Lou's Irish Lady came away in that fourth place position. And Dancing Beauty, the favorite, now lands the lead. And last of all is Dark Duchess. So emerging from out of the crowd is Dancing Beauty at no less than one to two. And shows the way by one. Florine is taking up the chase in second. And her Lucky Lotto backpedals the B in third. Smoke and Sister to the outside in fourth. Dark Duchess has picked off one, and Lou's Irish Ladies drop to the tail around the bend. Gabriel Maldonado looking for a four-win day, and Dancing Beauty going along as smooth as silk. Florine takes up the chase in second and tries to bridge that gap, and her lucky lotto trying to get closer too. His head's turned for home. Dancing Beauty lets it out a notch and shows the way by three. Her lucky lotto chasing in second. Dark Duchess is coming alive up the inside inside the final furlong. Dancing Beauty still leading. A little tired, but holding on by two. Dark Duchess is chasing, and so is her lucky lotto. Here's the finish, and one to two is the number on Dancing Beauty who wins over her lucky lotto, Dark Duchess, and then came Florine. There's only one